Good morning and welcome to Devo Time. My name is Esther and I am happy to be with you and we will have a fun time. So um, today we find ourselves in Mark 12 and um, it's a very interesting chapter but I will just share one or two verses with you and I hope that that will challenge you like it challenged me. So uh, let me read uh, these chapters, or not chapters, these verses to you. It is some of the scribes asked Jesus a question. Um, they asked him which commandment is the most important. And then Jesus answers them. And I want to read to you from verse 29. I think it's up to more or less verse 31. Let me read to you. He says, um, Jesus answered, the Lord your God is one. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, that you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. After reading that, you know, I kind of went like, oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, I've got that down, you know, okay, okay, yeah. And, um, but then sitting back and just thinking about it, you know, you know, molding on it a little bit, it kind of went something like this, like, hmm, okay. Ooh, I don't know about that. Uh, uh, Jesus, did you even know what you were saying? Like, really? Uh, <laughs> you know, since Jesus, like, uh, said it all out like that, it kind of makes it challenging, you know? He didn't just say, love your the Lord your God and love people. He, like, backed it out, you know, into four things. And he said, um... Love the Lord your God with all your heart, your soul, your mind, and your strength. And um, I know exactly why he did that, because we would just be like, I've got that down. I love God and, you know, I serve him and I love him and I'm fine. But now when I read it like this, geez, Louise, it is challenging. Because let's just look at it for a little bit. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Um, what does that even mean? You know, it for, to me, it means like I'm fully surrendered to Jesus, to God and His Lordship. I love Him with all my heart. I'm not keeping anything back. I am not, uh, you know, reserving some areas of my life for myself or for anybody else, really. I love God with all my heart. I give Him full I put my full trust in Him. You know, when you say to someone that I love you with my whole heart, it means that I'm not keeping anything back. Like when I tell JJ, I love you with my whole heart. I trust Him fully. I'm not saying like I'm only giving half of me to you. I'm giving you everything, all of me. So when I say, when God says, love me with all your heart, He's asking everything. He's asking us to not reserve some areas of our lives uh, for ourselves, you know, and not uh, like giving it all to Him. <laughs> uh, when He says, "Loves you, love me with your whole, all of your soul, you know, we always say it's our, our will, our thoughts, our intellect, our feelings, you know, that's... <laughs> That's all of us, man. Like surrendering my thoughts to God, my feelings to Him, um, my mind, what I'm thinking about. Just surrendering it all to Him and not saying, well, I feel this way, I'm going to do it, you know. And um, what am I thinking about? Uh, are my thoughts surrendered to Jesus? Does it show that I love Him? My feelings. I, I know God doesn't mean we can't feel things. It's just... Am I putting it under His Lordship? Am I loving Him fully with my feelings? Um, can people see that I love God by the way I react, the, by, the way I, um, you know, how I handle things? Then God says, love me with all your mind. What am I thinking about? Am I constantly thinking on, um, you know, what's wrong with myself, what's wrong with the world? Or am I thinking um, God's praises and am I uh, praising Him? Am I taking my thoughts captive and putting it under the Lordship of Jesus? Am I loving Him with all of my mind? That is challenging. <laughs> then the last one, He says, love me with all your strength. I mean, do it. <laughs> love me with a hundred percent of you to go all out, you know, to keep nothing, like give my best shot. 
um, at loving God and also loving Him with all of my resources, with all my abilities, with all my talents, my time, uh, you know, with my hands, my eyes, my mouth, my feet. You know, it's just loving Him with me and not just on a Sunday, you know, because that says, all of this says, love me every day with everything that you do. And that is challenging. Wow. I know I've said that many times, but <laughs> it's because it is. Wow. So I I almost don't even read the next part because that's like next level challenging, you know, just to love your neighbor as yourself. Because really what God is saying is don't be so prideful. It's not about you. <laughs> yo, yo. Ouch. Right. It's not about me. <sighs> It's not that easy to love my neighbor as myself. So, I mean, these two scriptures, it's just so challenging. And I want to ask yourself, uh, ask yourself, like, am I loving God with all my mind, with all my strength, with all my heart, uh, my whole soul? Am I loving my neighbor as myself? Well, many times I'll say I'm not, you know, but the grace of God is amazing that when we fail, it is enough to pick us right up and it's enough to um, help us to do these things, you know. But so let us start loving God with our all, with every part. Let's give him every part of us. Love him with your whole heart. Don't keep anything back. Don't hold anything back for yourself because it's worth it. It is so worth it loving God with everything like your abilities and just your resources. Love God with all of it. Let Him be the Lord of everything, your time, your money, the way you do things. Um, and like now with all the hurricane things, it's easy to show love for our neighbors, right? But sure, there's not always a hurricane and relief work and stuff going about. And there's other ways to love our neighbors, right? Just to be patient, just to say, hey, can I cut your grass? Or, you know, just there's so many ways. So ask yourself, am I doing these things? And if I'm not, if you're not, you know, repent and say, God, I'm sorry. Help me to love you with my whole heart, my soul, my mind, my strength, and help me to love my neighbors. Create in me a love for the people around me. So I can do these two easy things <laughs> that Jesus said. Well, let's just pray. Thank you, God, that you love us. Thank you that you know that we will not be able to even do these two things. And God, I pray that your grace will be sufficient for us and god i pray that you create in us a love for you and a love for our neighbors i pray that in jesus name amen may you have a fabulous day and um, thank you for listening thank you for joining in we'll see you tomorrow bye